feeding my, my chicken very well. So if you want chicken for Christmas, there's something here for you. Do you know? No, chicken, I gave you that. Eat that, okay? Uria, 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 yes, Uria. Kriana, Kriana, Kriana. Hey good people, welcome to my village here in Zimbabwe, Lanula Sustainable Village. So I'm trying to prepare millet and just take you through an experience of what you can actually experience in case you want a cultural experience, village experience here in Zimbabwe. So I have with me some millet here and I'm going to take you through the whole process. And one thing I love about this place, it represents the whole of Zimbabwe. This representation of the Lozi people, Tonga people, Ndevele, Shona, everything that you basically want to experience in Zimbabwe, you can get it here at Lanyula Sustainable Village. Come with me and let me give you an experience of village life here in Zimbabwe, Africa. Let's do this! Woo! How's my chicken? Come, come, come. chicken as well as chicken 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 the one that you know but this is not your regular chicken this is called the village chicken or road runner chicken as they call it here in zimbabwe so after grinding my millet here i sorted it out at first so i'm going i've grinded it the next process is how we prepare millet here in a village in zimbabwe let's go to the next step <laughs> This is the elder who is introducing me to the Zimbabwean culture. So what are we going to do here now? Yeah, right. We are going to uh, now taking out the stuff. Uh -huh. And we go down uh -huh. and that's the, the culture uh -huh. again. And we can grind it. Grind it? Yes. Okay, so show me the way. You know more than I do. You've seen more like, like more moons. Okay. Yeah. This down. Mm -hmm. and Get the fresh here. Okay. Get this. Get this. Let it down. Okay, okay. Let it down and so touch it. Here. Yes, yes. One hand up. Okay. Like that. Yes, yes, yes. Lift this up. Your hand lift this up. Okay. Get everything up. Everything out. Off the dirt. Yes. yes, I'm taking we off the dirt. Yes. Yeah. Remove it. By wind. Wind is helping me. The wind blows if you take it off. Kupepeta. 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 Do you know in Kiswahili it's actually called Kupepeta? Oh. Yeah, in Kiswahili like... in Kenya we call it Kupepeta. Okay. So this is Kupepeta in Kiswahili. So it's the same in Zimbabwe. Same in Zimbabwe. So I'm winnowing in English and Kupepeta in Kiswahili. So let's pepeta. Yeah. Okay, so now once we have this ready, come with me. So let me show you our next page. We are going to Yeah. 
this is our traditional portion meal. A little of it to grind it, right? So you have to keep repeating. So once you've grinded it once, you always have to keep repeating grinding. You'll take this and put it back once you're done grinding so that you'll have a very good meal. Call the African chicken. One zero one. Come. You see, they are coming to me. Well, so after finishing grinding all this, this is my final product. Excuse me, it's not as fine as you'd expect it, but if you can see some fine powder in it, that is the end goal. But since I'm still a learner and forgiven in this, they're just introducing me to the culture. My Zimbabwean in-laws, they're introducing me to the culture. So once I'm done with it, we're going to take it back to their heart. So this is our next trip. Goodbye. After preparing our maize meal, so I'm now going to take you to collect water. One good thing about this place is that water is free for all villagers. Come with me and let me show you that. Now this is now uh, this is our boho. That is the way there is, that is the way we get our source of water. And uh, in, uh, in the, uh, the solar lights, we get it here. We want the lights there. Mm -hmm. yeah, on top of the light, the the, the hut, we roof with the, the solar panels. So we get water. We get light from here. And we turn when we turn it like this, we are now. It is now switch the bowl. Oh. It, as, as you, are, I think you are hearing the sound. Yeah. That. So this bowl uh, is for the the, the the majority for the people. Okay. Yeah. It mostly is for the people and us, and oh. also we have dams behind there. Mm -hmm. So we use water for this bowl to fill the dams, for the giraffes, for the elephants, uh, the ostrich. Well, so since this is a sustainable community and I love nature and I love the environment, the best contribution I can make to the village of Lanula is to plant a tree. Well. Let's go and plant the African tigress tree in this village, at least to leave an impact here. Come with me. Please take care of my tree. Okay. okay. With this tree, guys, I'll be so heartbroken. I will keep it. Okay, so please keep my tree and I'll be coming to harvest fruit here. 
and whatever fruit is produced from this tree, give it free. So, so, tree, fruit, so. Y yes. So give it free to the locals. Okay. Yes. So here is our plant, the African tigress plant in Lanula Sustainable Village. So if you come to this village, ask them to show you my plant. Get to protect it. A little plant for the African tigress. And now, so that nobody forgets it, we're putting this mark here. Okay, what do you think about my tree? You keep, you keep, always keep it, uh, make it uh, life. I will come back to check if my tree is live. Uh, are you, you will find it. And big. Big and fruitful. Next time I come, it should be as tall as I am and fruitful. With fruit, yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, no, no. Okay, cool. <laughs> This being a dry area, the goal is to plant as many trees as possible and to make the area as green as possible. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode. Let me know your thoughts and opinion in the comment section below. And as I always say, sharing is caring. Go ahead and share this episode. And until next time, bye-bye. Kwaheri.